That is the tender that I almost sliced this in half last night. So you see how scary that is. Lesson learned. In this week's episode, after an exciting night at Saba Rock, be sure to check out last week's episode for more details on that. We're excited to set course for Monkey Point, which is supposed to offer some of the best snorkeling the BVI has to offer. After which, we head to the west side of Tortola to tie off on a ball in Cane Garden Bay for the night. It is truly a gem of an anchorage. <laughs> Bye, Cane, or uh, Saba Rock. Great job team, we are now here at Monkey Point. Right, and I mean, what we don't know is if there's like any jellyfish or anything, but you can see there's some snorkelers right here. So I think we can go snorkeling through here. Pretty cool, it's beautiful here. A little windy, so I think we'll just do snorkeling. Not paddle boarding, or I'll get lost. Was snorkeling. Uh, it was a little disappointing. The, uh, oh, sorry. It was a little, uh, a little cloudy today, the water, so we yeah. really didn't get to see much of anything. Most of the fish were right underneath the boat, actually. So. And yeah, it's really breezy, so it's kind of a little but, bit but murky monkey, too. Monkey Point was uh, a little bit of a disappointment. Hyped up to be, you know, just a, a can't miss, and we, we missed today. So. Oh well. Oh, well. That's, In the meantime, check out this beautiful yeah. yacht. Wow, stunning. But we're still in the tropics, no complaining. No complaining. Cheers. Cheers. Cha-ching. Cheers. Cheers. Pull it tight, pull it tight. There we go. Yes. You did it. Woo. That looks good. Perfect. High five. Woo. Call it corny, but Allie and I have been traveling with Ben and Maria for years. And each year we update our tour shirts with our latest destinations. Pretty soon we'll either need to make the font smaller or start wrapping around to the front.
High five, team. Yeah. Good job. We're pros at this now. We took the afternoon off to enjoy the blue-green waters of Cane Garden Bay before taking the dinghy into town to look for some dinner. So what we decided is the plan here. We're going to go here, but the door is closed. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So it is Monday. A lot of restaurants. It's 5 to 7, though. Is it 5 o'clock? Oh, I don't have a... I don't have a... Did, did it say 5 to 7? Yeah. 4.59. Oh. So you have to remember that a lot of places are closed on Mondays. That's even standard in the U.S. for um, restaurants. But let's just keep walking. Walking. Yeah. Paradise Bar. Two for seven. I'm gonna spray myself. This looks like a fun place. Yeah. Ellie, you gotta get a picture in there. I'm too short. No, I'm sure they got a little stool back there. Oh god, don't kill yourself. <laughs> okay. He was photobombing you. Got it. Well, here we are finishing day two at Cane Bay in the British Virgin Islands. Yeah. We just had a wonderful meal with Ben and Maria at Paradise Bar and Restaurant. It's kind of misleading. It looks like just kind of a hole in the wall place, but I can't recommend this place enough. Fantastic food. Wow, this is like Top a five star meal that you would get anywhere in yeah. any major metropolitan area and it was over the top yeah it's fantastic we had a great day here we went from uh save a rock save a rock we stopped at monkey point disappointing because yeah. it was really windy a little showery and it sort of ended up being murky yeah the water was murky so we didn't really get a good snorkeling in but we tried but we tried and then we came through the passage and we came here to king bay and uh, we hung out, we swam in the water, we just relaxed, had a great day. We ended up showering and coming here for dinner. And as you can see, uh, look at the camp, uh, look at, uh, what a beautiful night. I mean, it's stunning. Now, the kids are enjoying it, as you can hear. Marco Polo, Marco Polo. Look at that. Could you imagine being a kid and coming to the BBIs? Oh, yeah. Uh, we went to the potholes, so right. we didn't do this right uh, tomorrow, we're heading to Joss Van Dyke. Joss Van Dyke, which is just that direction right there. So it'll just be a quick jaunt right across the bay to a bay. Yep. We're going to uh, Great Bay. Great Bay right. is where we'll anchor. We'll go to Soggy Dollar for the day. Over then in White we'll, Bay. And then we'll dinghy over to Foxy's. And the day there, everybody says we got to do it. It's our first time here. Oh, yeah. So Get all the tourist spots. We gotta do the tourist spots. That's funny. Yeah, we got another group. That's, here he comes. Oh, that's a different bird. Oh, it's a different bird. Oh, he's gonna dive, maybe. Oh, he's gonna dive. On our way to get some breakfast, checking out Rhymers, right next to Paradise, where we had dinner last night. Just seeing if uh, Rhymers has a different menu than what Paradise is offering. Friendly. 
After breakfast, we strolled over to the Callwood Distillery. The distillery has been in the Callwood family since sometime around the late 1800s and is the only continuously working rum distillery left in the BVI. We enjoyed a great rum tasting, including their world famous panty dropper. Look, I said when the ladies drink this, you take the panties off. And of course, we had to leave our tag. If you ever visit the Callwood Distillery, check it out. We really appreciate you guys following. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. You know all that other you know stuff. You all the good stuff. And uh, we're excited to hear everyone's comments. You guys have been fantastic during this whole trip on social media, which is at Boating Journey. And we will see you next time. See you guys.